The message I have for you today will be very eye-opening, and I pray you fully comprehend it. In the book of Romans, Paul writes, What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no continues in verse 20 to 22, he says, When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of right benefit did you reap at the time from the things you are now ashamed of those things result in death been set free from sin have become slaves of god the benefit you reap leads to holiness and life now that we've read that i have a question for you is your life an ongoing process leading to holiness is your life in an ongoing leading to holiness i want you to answer truthfully galatians 2 20 states i I who live with Christ who lives in me. The life I now live by the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Let me say it again. What does that mean? It means that if God intends to dwell within you, make himself at home. That is eliminating all that is unholy, unfruitful, unclean, fruitful and clean, all through Jesus Christ. In simple words, he into the image of his son. In my previous TikTok message, many were calling me a false teacher for saying that works is dead, which surprised me because I don't believe they understood the purpose of my message. They were saying stuff like, had no works, and all oh, Saul was killing Christians when God called them. Now here's what imagine the thief on the cross survived the crucifixion. Do you believe that he would have, also known as Paul, was killing and persecuting Christians? Encounter with Jesus Christ, did he continue doing so? Here's what we must understand. God will not go against his will to please your sin. Will not go against his will to please your sin. Therefore, my if you can indulge in sin without feeling any guilt, contrition, or sorrow. Now, before you start attacking me in the comments, I'm not saying that you will be sinless. Interpret me. I'm also not saying that you have complete freedom to sin either. What I'm actually saying is that if God is actually at work in your life, he will never in it since salvation has been freely given to us it is a gift it is a complete it does not imply that we should work for it rather it's demonstrate the marks of a true christian are you a true disciple